Okay, Simon, let's uh, go over a quick tutorial on how to post a tight pad. Pretty easy, simple program, not extremely intuitive. So uh, you're probably up to this page here, I imagine. I've got a lot of other stuff on, on this account, so um, but we're just going to begin new post. And let's get started. So title here. And there, now this title will, uh, that's what's going to be posted on the Flash player on the um, main page of the site. So whatever you put in there will show up there. Um, category, when I remember, I'll come down to music. It doesn't really matter. Uh, now to the meat of the posting. So you're going to see there's two tabs here, Compose Post and Edit HTML. You probably already know how to code in HTML, so if you just want to do an HTML dump, Click on that tab here, paste in whatever HTML code you have here, and come back to Compose Post and it'll show you what it looks like. Um, if you want to just, uh, let's uh, start this post by inserting a picture, which you'll click on this tab here, Insert Image, and you'll be able to pull one up from your, uh, from your computer. Let's find a short one here. It up now. You're gonna have um, default settings here and custom settings. I'll usually go to custom settings because you can wrap text around the image, you can do different things, and you can enlarge it. So, we're gonna make this 200 pixels. Um, you can also do percent. So, I usually keep it on pixels, but whatever has it, whatever you want. Click insert image, and where your cursor was before, it should have inserted the photo or the GIF. So, there we go. Oh, another thing. You can't do PNG files or anything like that. It's got to be GIFs or JPEGs. GIFs or JPEGs. Um, and then you can just type in text. <sighs> Too much sugar this morning. Um, you can change, uh, you can edit the text, bold it, underline it, all these things here, change the color. You can also change the size of the text too. I'll usually keep it on normal, but if you want it on larger, you can. Um, if you want to create a link, that's pretty easy to do. Highlight, there's two ways to do it. Highlight the word you want to be linked, click on the link button, and then just type in the um, URL. Click OK. And that'll be in the link there. You want to double check the HTML code, click on the HTML tab, and it'll be in there somewhere. Another way to do a link as well is um, um, you can click on the link tab without highlight highlighting anything. Put the URL in. It's going to um, ask you for the text that you want the, the link to look like. So. And it'll show up. Once again, you want to check it. HTML tab, compose tab. So that's if the photos, links, uh, editing the text. And then um, what I'll also do is, in order for uh, all the aggregators to pick up the RSS feed when I ping the sites I ping, um, there's some HTML code that I'll dump in. And this is it here. Real crude, I've used it forever, haven't changed it, probably could use some updating. I'm just too lazy to uh, change it. So what I'll do is I'll go back to HTML pad and then I'll just dump that in there. The post, and there we go up, there's a little, uh, a little uh, JPEG in there. And when people click on that, it'll go to the track, which is hanging out on a server somewhere. And look at that, there you are, Simon on a blocker wind. Great track, loved it. Um, you know how to change the the way that looks there with HTML, with the coding. So, of course, uh, find out where that, where the audio is lying on the net somewhere, and I'll insert that there. And then I'll also insert it again down here. And if 
you don't have storage for tracks and want me to upload them to the server, just send them to me. I'll upload them and I'll give you the URL. The trick about um, uploading uh, the tracks, the audio tracks, the MP3 tracks, is the, uh, the, the name of the track can't have any spaces in it. It's just got to be underlined at or underlined or dashed in between words. So um, if you have any goofy characters in there, it won't take it for some reason. So that is the basics of using TypePad. So if you have any questions, uh, other questions, let me know. And I'll upload this file to the net or try and email it to you after I compress it. Uh, thanks, have a great day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.